First of all, how much of a breakthrough is this study? Well, in 1960s uh, and 1970s, when the measles disease was really endemic around the globe, we knew that if we uh, deploy a vaccine in, in a new region, we always see uh, disease uh, mortalities uh, is, is always plummet. That indicates that there has always been some sort of immune preservation capabilities of the vaccines. But these two studies that appeared yesterday are really, um, are really important to underpin those molecular mechanisms and really understand how the immune system was depleted by the measles virus itself. And, and this really indicates that we have underestimated the potential of the measles vaccine in controlling the infections around the globe, especially in the children. And also, since these studies have came at the time when the disease has been emerging around the world, these are really a great breakthrough to, to sort of plan for the future control strategies. OK. And, uh, Mohammed, one of the big revelations that came out of these studies is that um, it can wipe out the immune system's memory. What exactly does that mean? So this means whenever you have a natural infection or a vaccine, then uh, certain immune cells in the body, they, they carry that information in them so that they can fight against the reinfection against the pathogens. So that's what we call memory. And this memory is an essential part of the vaccination because more a memory, meaning we are more protected. So this study indicates that whenever there is an infection by a measles virus, these uh, memory cells, those are built by the previous infections, are wiped out, that the receptors on the surface which then lead to production of the antibodies. These are the proteins that bind onto the virus and sort of neutralize and wipe it out, or the ones that are target for the measles virus. So okay. when measles virus comes in, they remove these cells and the antibodies. And, you know, a lot of people watching at home will be wondering, you know, who exactly is at risk? So every children or every person who is not immune against measles virus is at risk. The reason is that if those are not immune against measles, that means measles can infect them and cause disease. And if measles infects, all those uh, memories and the antibody that are established by the yearly flu vaccines or against pneumonia or herpes viruses will be wiped out. So they will be again back to the same stage as the naive baby, which does not have a memory and does not have all those antibodies that are required to keep them protected against the infection. Thus, everybody who is not properly immune and does not have enough antibodies to eat, they are at risk. That really is incredible. Um, and, and yet, so many people right now, so many parents are not vaccinating their children against the measles. How big a concern is this, given what we've found out in these studies now? Well, interesting thing about measles virus disease itself is that it is highly infectious. So that means that if one person is infected, 90 percent people around that person can have a chance to be infected. So this is highly contagious. This means that whenever there is a disease in the community, it's not, a, it's not a concern of individual, it's a concern of the whole community. And these infectious diseases doesn't, uh, are not really localized into a individual countries. These are global uh, challenges. So therefore, every um, uh, person who is not vaccinated uh, and against, uh, against these um, uh, infections, they are at risk, not only in a particular country, but at a global scale. All right. It really is very concerning. Thank you so much for uh, explaining it to us. Mohamed Munir, virologist and lecturer from uh, Lancaster University in the UK. Thank you.